Hey Pooh, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm J Love. If you're not new here, welcome back. Today we're gonna be getting into some things. We're gonna be getting into some things. So today is gonna be the day that I'm finally filming my questions and answers video. Um, I asked my Instagram followers to ask me questions a while ago, but I just never got around to making a video. So now I'm making a video. And yeah, we're gonna, we gonna answer y'all questions. Now, I didn't answer every single last one. I'm probably not gonna answer the ones that I even have, but only because it's a lot. Oh yeah, I wanna get straight into it because y'all got some good questions. The first question is, when are we gonna meet your boo? <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't like, I don't know. I don't know what it's giving. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I guess whenever I feel like it, like whenever I want y'all to meet her. I'm sure a lot of people know, not a lot of people, but I'm sure a few people know who she is, but a lot of y'all don't. So yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a little, it's kind of fun, you know, keeping, you know, keep y'all on y'all toes. But I honestly don't know, like, I don't know. What camera do you use for YouTube? I use the Canon PowerShot um, G7X Mark II. It's a Mark III and it's the Mark I, but um, yeah, I use the Mark II and I really love this camera. This camera is good for vlogging and taking pictures. Like I take my pictures on this camera too, so. What happened with you and your old best friend? Um, Honestly, nothing really happened like no like we didn't get into a fight like we didn't fall out like nothing really happened you know people just grow apart uh from each other but it's nothing but good vibes over here you know all love still over here what's something that you really want to do but you're afraid to do something that i'm really that i really want to do but i'm afraid to do I really, really, really want to skydive and I really want to go jet skiing, but I can't swim and I can't fly. So, I don't know how either of those going to work out. But I really do want to go skydiving and jet skiing. But I'm probably not. I'll hold your shit and wait for y'all to get back, but I, I, I can't do it. Mm -mm. Do you have any tips for clear skin? Um, No, I do not because I don't really have the clear skin myself. Um, I know right now I'm kind of giving clear skin, smooth, you know, all that, but it's, I got makeup on. So, no, I don't have any tips for clear skin. Do you have any hair growth tips? So, I don't have any hair growth tips. I, I don't, but I do. Okay, so like as far as products go, I don't have any tips because I really... Like, okay, so when I did my Big Chop, I didn't use, like, products to grow my hair back. I just kept heat out of it. And low manipulation is the key in, like, a very, 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 very small amount of heat. Uh, what are pros and cons of working in a strip club? This one gonna be tea, honey. I'm gonna start with the pros first. So, the pros, the pros are the number one thing that everybody know is how much money you can make in one night like you can make the sky's the limit honestly the sky's the limit i feel like the sky's the limit when you like know how to hustle like when you know how to hustle you know how to you know what i'm saying like keep your momentum up don't get tired don't get like burnt out like you can make so much money being a waitress people think Oh, just because you're a waitress and you're not a dancer, like you don't make money. Oh, no, honey. You make money. Another one of my favorite pros, you can get dressed up for work, like every single day. You can get dressed up for work. You can get, go to work looking cute, like the uniforms, your outfits. Like you can really like, you can really dial yourself up to go to work. Like who don't want to do that? It's just a fun environment depending on who you are and what you're used to and like, what you can adapt to because it's different like okay it might be fun for some people but other people might not know how to adapt to that kind of environment might be too much might be overwhelming but for me it's fun now the con the number one con is working as a waitress is a gamble 
it's a gamble. Like, you not gonna make a whole bunch of money every night. I mean, you could, but nine times out of 10, it's gonna be up and down, it's gonna be up and down. It might be up and up and up and then down, but it's gonna be up and down. You not gonna make the same amount of money every day. It's just not gonna happen. One day you might make $500 and the next day you might make 100 or 50. Like, you never know, so. It's definitely a gamble, so I would say if you want to work like as a waitress in a strip club, then you really need to put it in your mind. Like, I'm not going to make this amount of money every single day. It's just not going to happen. That's just not how it go. I personally feel like it's easy to see somebody, you know, see one of your homegirls or see somebody you talk to or something like that and then just, just lose focus. Who is that? Oh, this Amazon. Um, another con is, okay, so you never know who you gonna bump into. Like, you never know who you gonna be serving. Like, people really will try you in a bar. Like, they will try you. The girls be coming in there with their boyfriends. Don't be wanting a man to tip you. Like, honey, don't nobody want him? Want the money. That's it. You just gotta like, like I said, you gotta know how to conduct yourself because people come in there drunk, people come in there just all kind, all kind of ways, like high, drunk, both, just throw it off. Like you just gotta know how to conduct yourself. You gotta know how to keep it together. Do you know your end game goal in life? What is something that you really, really, really desire? My end game goal in life is to be wealthy enough, to be wealthy enough to take care of myself, my family, um, my loved ones, um, and other people. Like, honestly, that's why I am like trying to be more consistent now and stuff like that because it's like, I got it. Like, I got it. I, I, I just, I got it. Like, some people got it, some people don't, I got it. I'm cocky, but it's just like you, if you know you got, you got it. Like that's just that. But yeah, I, I just want to be wealthy enough to take care of myself, my loved ones, and other people. Like I honestly feel like that's my purpose in life. I feel like my purpose in life is to give to other people, like to help other people, to do stuff for other people. Now, of course, like I want to do nice stuff for myself and go on trips and buy this and buy that, whatever. But honestly, like it's way, 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 way deeper than that. Like I promise y'all, like I promise y'all, I feel like I really, truly, truly, truly believe that my purpose in life is to give to other people. Like. I'm talking, it could be the smallest thing. It could be the biggest thing to them. Like that's, I feel like that's my purpose in life. That's my end game goal. That's what I really, really desire to do is to be able to give back to other people. So this question says, what kind, <laughs> y'all so funny. It says, what kind of women are you into? Into mine. That's what kind of my no but i'm into um the the more masculine kind of woman like i'm a film the girly girl a film can we get more girl talk videos showing your personality because it's <laughs> so i'm telling y'all like i plan on doing so many videos like especially sitting down because i don't know for some reason y'all want to hear me talk which is fine because i love talking so I plan on doing a bunch of like girl talks, girl chats, chit chat, get ready with me, questions and answers, uh, what would J-Love do, videos and stuff like that. So it's coming, just know it's coming, fool. It's coming, fool. So this is the question that y'all asked me about 20 times and it is, what makes you get into fashion? It was nothing specific like it was not a specific time or day or thing that made me get into fashion. I've always just been a fashion girl. Like I've always been a fashion girl. What are your short term and long term goals? The sun is going down. So the, if the light and change, that's why. My short term goal. So um, I'm just do like a goal that I have for 2022. My short term goal is to hit a thousand subscribers 
on YouTube. So right now I'm at 407. Um, so yeah, by the end of this year, I want to reach a thousand subscribers. I know I can do it. I know y'all can do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's my short term goal um, to make to make it to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. My long term goal is to be wealthy enough to take care of me, my loved ones, and others. How much have you made in one night as a waitress? How much you think? I have made like 2,000, little some change. <laughs> but yeah, that's how much I made as a waitress. Um, to me, that's a lot of money to make in one day. Like, not even a day, a night. Like, some hours, like six hours, whatever. That's a lot to me. Somebody said, you seem like a positive person. How do you deal with negativity? I don't. I don't deal with negative people. I don't deal with negative energy. I don't deal with negativity. Like, I try to stay away from it as much as I can because energy is transferable. Like, and I try to be as positive as I can. Um, every day is not a good day, of course. But, like, if you're just a negative person, like, if you just, like, mean and nasty and just negative and always got something bad to say and always just, just nasty and negative, I'm not gonna be around you. The easiest way to deal with negativity is to not deal with it at all. Are you a stylist or a model? I am neither a stylist or a model. Y'all, I had to turn the light on because baby, it is dark. Um, what's a good amount to spend on an outfit? It depends. It depends, like it depends on where you're going. It depends, it depends on how much you have to spend on the outfit. What celebrity would you like to style if you had the choice? Ludacris. Ludacris. I don't know. I know. I probably probably would want to style Tay, Arrogant Tay, uh, Ari Best Friend because he is like, like he open to doing different stuff and like dressing different and getting different pieces, pieces that nobody got. Like he, you can tell he not scared to like, like step outside the box. So I definitely would probably want to style him if anybody because we can do some stuff. Like we can put some stuff together. What high school did you go to? Oh, I went to King, yes. On the east side of Detroit. <laughs> Black and gold, don't fall back. Who are your fashion inspirations? I have a whole bunch. You can do baddies on a budget. I could do that because maybe I know how to shop on a budget and still look a lot, okay? Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, engaged, pregnant, or about to get pregnant. <laughs> in a Porsche, rich, yes, very, very rich. What inspired you to get into YouTube? So like, for a long, long, first of all, I've been watching, I've been on YouTube for a long time, like for a, a super long time. I, like I've been watching YouTubers for a long, that's what I mean when I say I've been on YouTube, like I've been watching YouTubers for a long time. And I've always had the desire to just like, to just film myself and just like record myself and just talk to y'all. Like, I don't know. I, I honestly enjoy the concept of YouTube. I love watching YouTube and I know that I can do it. Like I can inspire people. I already do inspire people. Like a lot of people used to tell me like, oh my God, you started YouTube. You so funny, you so funny, you so funny, whatever, whatever. Advice for someone who wants to be an influencer but is nervous to start. Y'all be asking me questions like, um, like in that position already and I'm not. So I don't really know. Like I would say if I was an influencer already, if I was an influencer already, I would say just be yourself. Like don't try to do what everybody else is doing. Like people want to see the real you and just stay true to who you are. I feel like that's the key in all of this and be consistent. What is your biggest struggle with entrepreneurship? 
finances. Like I had all these ideas, I had all these designs and visions and stuff like that, but I just didn't have the finances to, to make them come to life. What are some good boundaries a person should set for themselves and others? It all depends. This is another question where it just depends on you. It depends on your kind of lifestyle. It depends on what you allow. Like me, I ain't allowing no bullshit. I'm, it's, I ain't allowing no bullshit. You set boundaries based on you and your beliefs. With that being said, this is going to wrap up the video. Thank y'all for tuning into this video. I hope y'all made it to the end of this video. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. But before you leave, don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel. See y'all.